Hey guys, we're doing some uh, drip edge work here. So we got the underlayment down. Uh, I put two layers of the of the underlayment here. It's a rhino roof, they call it. It's like a tarp or something. So I got like two layers and overlapping like two, a foot or more. So like, and I just staple it on the side and just run it across. Anyways, so we got that down. Uh, so this uh, drip edge, um, this is the one you, I got at the Home Depot. Um, has like a little a lip over here for the water to come off. So I'm, I'm installing it here. So it's got that little lip uh, right here. And uh, so I'm gonna show you how I did it uh, without, like, cause I went on YouTube. It's a lot of uh, waste of time there. Uh, they don't, they're showing complicated ways of bending this and cutting this. And it, it ends up looking like fucking shit. So I'm gonna show you, first of all, how to cut this so you can draw a line on here just get your square if you want get a nice uh, square line um, and you just cut it let me set up this thing here I'm gonna show you what kind of nails to use too so you're just following your line here And then you, you'll come from the other side. So. You could just cut from, uh, from this side here. So it's going to bend it a bit, but. If, if you want a, a better cut, like uh, more accurate, use an angle grinder or like a chop saw with a, a grinding disc. But uh, I don't think that's necessary because you get a pretty good uh, cut here. Like, I'll show you. And if you draw a line with your square, it's going to be square also. Obviously, you could use the factory edge if uh, you want a uh, perfect, right? Bend it up a little bit. It's pulled, it just comes apart. Okay, so let's see what we got here. So it's not bad. And you can, uh, you know, uh, play with that or grind it or whatever if you want to make it more straight. But I think that's good enough. Um, so, uh, what I'm doing is I'm overlapping here. Uh, so I, I bent that over the ridge. Uh, I kind of botched that up. I didn't mess it. I put it, I didn't bend it in the middle. So, but that's one continuous piece. So that's cause I had the wood underneath and it was too, too long. So it bent where the wood was, but it doesn't matter. Um, the other side will do better. So this will, will go underneath, uh, um, that piece. Like another piece. I'm, this piece I'm going to use for the other end over here. So I'll show you how I did it on the other side. So like, you can see right here, I just uh, went right, right over. So I, get a... so I just went over because they're only 10 feet and I just nailed from the top, nailed from the side. And uh, that's it. But uh, for the corner, I'll show you what I did because I didn't want to waste my time here uh, making all kinds of weird angles. And it's going to look like garbage. So this is, this is my end result. Uh, it looks pretty nice and flush. And all I did is I took an extra small piece, stuck it under this one, and uh, over top of this. And then, uh, if you can see, I just cut it right here where my little board was. So this board, is a uh, is a spacer. It's pressure treated. I'll show you in a second. But uh, you you can just leave it like a gap in there. Uh, it won't be as good as the way I have it because the piece of wood is uh, is sealing that off. So that way all the hornets and all that stuff they can't get in there. Uh, and same as behind uh, this edge, I have that wood. Uh, so you don't have to do that. So you can see the wood right here. It's coming out a bit. Um, that's the way I did it. And I'll show you the wood in a second. Uh, so that's nice and flush like that. I think that's that's pretty good. And that was really easy. Just cut it right here, 
fold it with your hand and same on this end uh, just bent it if you can see I just bent it with my finger just in there and that's it so I'll show you the wood that I'm using here so this is from the Home Depot they use these pieces of wood to separate the, the fence boards and it's all pressure treated so this one is like extra thick so this is even better because you want like half an inch but I'm only using a quarter inch because that's how thick this stuff is right but this one is like almost uh, 3 8 so that's even better I'm gonna use some of that later uh, so uh, you want like half an inch you could put it right to the, the fascia but uh, this is the better way because you're 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 separating it from the wood so it'll drip it should drip away especially if you have a half an inch I haven't tested this but if it's half an inch they've tested this on the internet guys and it'll drip like away from your fascia it won't be attracted like through surface tension back to the wood um, okay so the nails I'm using here uh, I'm using more thinner thinner nails because if you just use uh, roofing nails so this one is uh, from this uh, magazine here I think it's tens, 10 penny nails they call it. it has a bit of uh, ridges over here but uh, otherwise it's smooth so this one is from this package here and this is what you want you want like a hot galvanized um, what I'm using though is thinner and this is like bright I think this is kind of garbage this will rust really quick but I was looking for something thinner so this is from this package here uh, one and a half inch um, this would be better but for this I don't want to use it right now unless I, I ran out of these ones because this one I'll, I have to pre-drill with one eighth of an inch because I don't want to split all my wood uh, and the roofing nails is the same thing they're like just as thick as that one so I have some of these over here I have no idea this is all I have left I don't know where I got these these are really good because they're they have ridges all the length of it unlike these cheap ones we get a Home Depot it's only the the just the you know half an inch over here has those ridges otherwise it's smooth so this is all I have left of these and they're thinner so this was stolen from a construction site you know from has like a copper wire or something joining them but that's all I have left I used to have like tons of that but it's gone so oh this video is getting a little long so just make sure you have your beer and uh, happy uh, shed working guys